We're going to begin with a potential breakthrough in the way we detect colon cancer. A promising study found that a new blood test is able to detect 83% of colon cancer tumors. It comes as colon cancer rates, of course, are rising in younger adults, and it is the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the U.S. as of right now. But about one in three eligible adults are not up to date on their screenings, even though early detection could prevent a majority of fatalities. CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook joins us now. He's also a professor of medicine at NYU Langone, where he specializes in gastroenterology. And Dr. LaPook, I'm not giving anything away when I say not your first year out of medical school, right? You've yes. been following this field for a long time. Yes. How big of a deal is this? Well, it's potentially a big deal when you think about the other options for screening for colon cancer. So right now there's colonoscopy. That's the gold standard, right? Mm -hmm. You can find colon cancer in the earliest stage when it's most curable. You can also find benign polyps and take them out before they have a chance to turn into cancer. So you're diagnosing and you're also preventing cancer. Mm -hmm. A lot of reasons why people don't want to do that, right? Then there are stool tests. You can do them at home. You're looking for invisible blood or genetic material that's shed from the cancer or the polyp. And then there's the ick factor with that, right? People just don't want to deal with stool testing. Is that what that Cologuard is? Cologuard is. That's a common, yeah. People? Yeah. It's a combination of in, looking for invisible blood and looking for genetic material that's shed uh, from the cancer or polyp. And then now you have the potential of doing just a blood test, right? Easy mm. peasy, no big deal. So the thought that you can do a test that's simple and that a lot of people could do um, that's exciting, but you know we have to. The, the devil's in the details, so you got to see how it pans out. Uh, you know whether it's covered and also. So you go to the doctor and get the blood test. You get and then the they blood an test. Analyze it. So who should get it? Well, that depends on how it pans out. Like right now in this test, we said 83% of uh, colon cancers were picked up. I was a little disappointed that only about two thirds, 11 of 17 uh, patients uh, who had the stage one, the very earliest, were, were picked up. Still, something is better than nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, it still remains to be seen whether or not, you know, how widely this is going to be used, how expensive is it going to be? So, um, but I still don't know who should get it. Do you have to be over a certain age? Oh, sorry. Male so or female? Or, yeah. Screening is for everybody at average risk is going to be 45 and above, right? Mm -hmm. So then yeah. you say, okay, how am I going to get, how am I going to get screened? So colonoscopies, great. It's That's still the, the best standard. way. Still the best. Yes. Then stool tests at home. Ooh, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. No, okay. I They're don't. pretty good at, at picking up cancer, less good at picking up polyps. And now a blood test, which is not yeah. good at picking up polyps. It, it picks up a, a very small percentage, but you know, pretty good at picking up colon cancer. How do you get access to the test? Right now it is available out of pocket for about 900 bucks, but the company has made an FDA submission. Pricey. The FDA is considering it, and they're thinking in the spring that it's going to be an advisory committee, and then it could be approved by the end of the year. Remains to be seen. I want to see more uh, research on this to see exactly who should get it and how often you get the, the test. Uh, so there's, a, there's really a lot of detail. Can you just quickly tell us some of the signs of colon cancer and why it mm. seems that so many younger, younger, people, yeah. Yeah, younger people are starting to get it? Okay, well, two different things. Signs, you know, change in stool, blood in the stool, feeling uh, tired, uh, having, having anemia for no, for, no un, for no clear reason. Okay, Th we've talked about that before. Why younger people are getting who knows? Is it something in the environment? Is our diet it's linked to obesity? We're more obese. And the thing that I'm interested in, I think, is a possibility of the microbiome, trillions of bacteria, thousands of species. And it turns out certain species increase the risk of colon cancer. They're linked to it. And we're changing our microbiome with our diet, with antibiotics. So uh, nobody knows that's a real research, hot research area, but uh, it is. John, you're has. shaking your foot. It's making you know, a lot of noise. You know, my grandfather used to do that. Oh, okay. It was kind of like this thing when the heat. Oh, oh, you can't help it? No, 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 I can help it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, doctor. I, I was yeah. looking, I was looking like, what I is I thought you were about noise? to start playing the drums. No. <laughs> well, you're just tapping your foot. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm, Are you nervous? I was caught. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's like when I get, I'm interested you're in You're getting excited. I'm yeah, so excited. You're getting I'm going. I'm like, what is happening here? Okay. All right. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah. Well, there, we appreciate it. Research there. We can see All there's right. some enthusiasm. Yes, yes. absolutely. I am enthusiastic, in yeah. just in general. And right? we like that, and we like that. That's <laughs> yeah, what I like about it. Thank you very much, Doctor. Really appreciate it. Yeah, he's my doctor. He's the one that told me I have a long and winding colon. All is good. <laughs> I knew you wanted to know that, America. Thank you, John LaPook. Thank you. <laughs>